In this video, I'll show you how to apply to the WFS program, which is Walmart Fulfillment Services. How to apply and everything you need to know after you get approved. Hi, this is Tomer from SourcingMonster.com, where I share videos, updates, and tutorials about Amazon FBA. I'm a seven-figure seller, and all the info I share with you is completely free. I'm not selling you anything or trying on this channel. Now, as we go through the video, if you find value in it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and you also subscribe to the channel. And all links for everything I'm going to mention in the video will be down below in the description section. For those of you that don't know what is WFS, Walmart Fulfillment Services, it's the equivalent program to the FBA program, which is fulfilled by Amazon, the popular program where uh, everyone uh, can really leverage and utilize the Amazon for services, or in this case, Walmart services to really ship, uh, manage the customer service and really manage all the aspects of the logistics and, and, and shipping on your behalf, on behalf of our like the sellers that are selling there, third party sellers. So this should be a big thing in the future. It's still new. It's still uh, something that uh, uh, Walmart is testing and we as sellers should test as well. It's on beta. And um, in this video, I'll show you how to really apply. I applied successfully and I'll share with you my experience, what you need to know. And first of all, what are the things that needed to apply to WFS? So of course you need to have a, a Walmart seller account. Uh, I do have a video on how you actually create and apply to be a seller in Walmart. So you can check it in the description. We'll put the link to it. Um, so once you're already a seller, you could apply. I'll show you how it works now. I'll share my screen. So we'll go, this is the Walmart seller central. If you are, uh, you will have, you should have the WFS button here on the top. And now I'm already uh, enrolled in the program, but if you are not enrolled, it will tell you enroll in a few easy steps. Um, so that's what you should uh, click on and just follow the instructions, very self-explanatory in instructions. They are telling you that it takes two weeks to apply. In my case, I mean to give you an answer after you apply. Uh, and in my case, it took me like two or three months until they got me answer and they told me, look, you're approved, you can uh, start selling. Uh, once you're approved, um, you, you will have a new section here. You will have this section, which is manage inventory, send inventory reports, dashboard. I will create a separate video on how to create a shipping plan, the equivalent kind of, uh, shipping plan that we have on Amazon FBA, where you ship goods from China or from your warehouse directly to Amazon centers or fulfillment centers, or in this case, Walmart's fulfillment centers. I'll show you from my experience, like what is the issues that I had? Um, so what are, which products do you actually want to send to WFS? So with everything new, whether it's Walmart or Amazon or PPC or anything, my approach is to start small when it works, when you see results, start and scale it to be big. So I would choose one or two products that are really my best selling items to ship to WFS. And that's what I did. Um, obviously you don't want to really commit and send 500 to 600 units, just send like 50 units, 100 units, see how it goes. If the results are good, excellent, ship more and more inventory. Um, so that's what I did here. Warnings. So lear learn from my mistakes. When I created my first inbound shipment to Walmart Fulfillment Center, I had a big uh, problem. I got an email after 10 days, which uh, 10 days after delivery, after the package was delivered. And they told me, look, we have issue. You actually left the FNSQ barcode. For those that don't know what is FNSQ barcode, that's a special barcode that you get from Amazon, which you stick on each unit. And that's how Amazon recognize uh, that, you know, uh, which item it is. We deliver a service that I used to have or still have to ship our orders that are being ordered on Walmart directly and serving as a, as a FBA fulfillment center, we used to ship the FNSQ labels and they recognize them and it was all good. Walmart don't recognize this and they want your UPC code, which I didn't know. I was lucky enough that the representative, which was very nice, to have them replace it at no cost. So they replace it, they put the new stickers and they stick it and now it's good. Now I knew that on my second shipment, I need to print special barcodes, especially only for Walmart. And uh, so their system can recognize it. 
they are very like i said it's it, their approach is very different than amazon they are not as professional as amazon they are not as techy as amazon or innovative and everything is just a uh, much more hustle and struggle to deal with um and last thing on this video uh really how to how, how the order management looks different so if you go to the uh order section here under order management you click on orders you will have three new so let's go here you will have uh actually this one let's uh super fresh it okay so you have three filters now you have the seller fulfilled orders i have here three new orders you have the partner fulfilled which we have six orders here which partner fulfilled i use deliver as you can see and then we have Walmart fulfilled order, which is a FBA, which I have zero. I just started. I sent inventory last week. Only last week we're, we're starting to get it. And uh, next video I'll make about Walmart. I can share uh, my journey and my results. Like always, with any questions that you have, you can leave them down below in the comment section. And I personally will answer them. Please like this video. It really helps me promote and help more people, reach more people. And subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. <laughs>